Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to run the Atari 5200 emulator on the RetroPie um, operating system. So, um, first thing you do is you just go to this PC on your Windows based computer and then you just type in uh, RetroPie, but it could, it could also be the IP address, so RetroPie, just like that. Now you can see all the file systems for my RetroPie, uh, Raspberry Pi um, single board computer. So you just go to BIOS and then you just go to um, go to here and put all the BIOSes in there. So there's five files for the, for the Atari. Um, Atari BIOSes, so five files here. Um, you could find them on the on Google if you search for it. And you just get the files and then you dump it in there, dump it into that folder, and that's all you do basically. And then another thing about the ROMs. Um, when you get the ROMs, they're gonna be in this format, like in zipped format. However, when you try to run the ROMs in the zip format, it's not going to run because you have to run it as individual files. As um, I think these are A52 files, .A52 files. I don't know which ones run. It could be any one of these. So you could just try one until they run. Others just have like... one files which makes it easier so make sure you unzip the file make a folder and then put it into the directory so i'll give you an example so i'm gonna open that i'm just gonna copy that just create a folder here I call it battle zone Okay, now I'm gonna press that. Now go to Battle Zone. Just gonna paste that file in there. That's it. That's in there. So um, as for finding your RetroPie thing, the IP address for my RetroPie is 192.168.1.129. Yours could be different, but uh, or you could just like um, I did before, just type in RetroPie. And that should also work. But if it doesn't work, just make sure you find the IP address on your RetroPie unit. So that's basically it. So um, now I'm going to go to my uh, RetroPie unit and configure it. Back to my RetroPie. Um, what I have to do now is I need to restart my RetroPie. For me, I have this button here. So I could just do that or you could just go to start and restart it so I'm gonna restart everything I already put the bios that bios files in here already so but I'm gonna show you how you could do it basically and I'm, I'm just gonna run a Atari 5200 um, ROM and show you that it, it does indeed work so right now it's restarting, loading up everything. And you need a keyboard if you want to make this work. Um, just a controller is not going to suffice here. But I'm going to get that readied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Atari 5200, go in here. Um, Let's go to Pitfall, Battle Zone. Yeah, let's try Battle Zone. All right. You get to this screen. 
and it's not going to run. The ROM has to work in the first place. So it's not gonna run from here, even if you have the BIOS. So what I wanna do is I wanna press F1 on the keyboard like this. F1 and I go, I go here what I want to do is, if you don't have the BIOS in there already, you go to emulation, emulator configuration, press enter with the keyboard. Now I have my, I'm using a USB keyboard which is connected to my Virtual Pi gaming unit, okay? So that's just to make sure. And next thing you do is you go to, uh, Uh, emulation emulator configuration and then it's system ROM settings I think yeah there the first thing we have to do is we need to find this as you can see I have it set up already so we're gonna start with PAL first it's called Rev8 PAL press enter um, it may not be in this file system, so let's say it was here, for example, like that. So I go to Pi, so let's say it was here, then I, I go to Home, go to Pi, I go to Retro Pi, I go to BIOS, <coughs> because that's where I put all my BIOS files. And these are all my Atari 5200 BIOS files I put in there. And uh, I'm going to be doing PAL first, so it's Atari OS A ROM for the Rev1 PAL, enter. And then next thing you have to do is configure custom. And now you see that I'm in the same folder that I started out from. I mean, where I saved the first uh, file from. So I go to custom, and this will be... OSBB. I want to check if PAL was correct just to make sure. And PAL, I said, is OSAA. Okay, good. And then press escape to get out of here. Next thing you need to do is XLXE OS ROM locations. And the one that you want to configure is BB01 Rev2, Rev.2. So all this is in GitHub, so what I'm doing is I'm just showing you how to do this on the video, so make it easier for people. So I go here, and I select Atari XL ROM, which I already did, and exit out of here. Now we, ne we need to select the 5200 BIOS ROM, enter there. The one that you want to do is original, which is which I already did put in, so... You select Atari 5200. This could also be called just 5200.rom. For me, it's Atari 5200.rom. So enter. So I'm going to escape here. Press escape again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save configuration file. And then I'm just going to put save on exit configuration file. By default, it's no. So you press enter and say yes and um, press escape again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna exit the emulator. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart the emulator. Just press start. For those that don't have a button to do this, so I'm gonna restart. Yes. And then I'm gonna restart it. Here 
retro pie is restarting. <coughs> Everything's restarting. I just get my control set up. Go back here to Atari 5200 and gonna try to run it. It's not gonna run here. So again, I have to press F1. I'm gonna press a button. Okay, press F1. And I have to run the games from Run Atari Program, which is highlighted right there. Press Enter. I need to go back to my file system. I guess it's back. For me, it's just RetroPie, which is right there. And that's my ROMs folder. Go to Atari 5200, enter. So these bracketed things means a folder. And as you can see, these other files are zip files which you can't run from, which you can't run files from. So I press enter here. This is a, a ROM file, press enter. Now as you can see, it's running. Sorry, I don't have any sound because I'm using, I have a headphone here, but I assure you the sound does work. So to start it, you press F4. I don't know if you can hear that or not from my headphone. All right. I can't play with one hand, so it's kind of hard, see? I only got one hand on the camera, one hand on this so, okay as you can see it does work so I want to get out of here just press F1 again and you go back here and you could run any uh, Atari 5200 ROM that you want and you could save states you could load states and do everything you need to do check sound settings you can change the sound settings here, escape to move back. Now I'm going to run another game, go back. Let's try Pac-Man. I don't know which of these work and which don't, so I'm just going to pick one. Okay, some of them didn't work, um, but I guess this one does work. So, again, F4 to start. Before keeping that, and of course, I can't play with one hand, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> well, for this game, it only requires just a D pad, so it's possible, but oh well. Now you know how to run it. I'm going to press F1 to get out of here. Let's just run one more. Go back. And if your file uh, system says something else, let's say it starts here. All you have to know is that you just go to Home. Pi. Go to RetroPi. And this is your ROMs folder on your RetroPi unit. Our operating system go here 5200. Let's try Centipede. As you can see, it is working. Again, you just wait, press F4 to start. Okay, that's it. F1 to exit and uh. Exit Emulator. Thanks for watching by Each of the Chaos. 1975 signing out.